Hey everyone, in the news this week, Matt Hancock has had to whip withdrawn from him after he's going to be taking part in the ITV show I'm a quote-unquote celebrity, although it's unclear whether he's going to face a challenge where a bosun uses said whip on the contestants as they row across a river. You know, there's a lot to be said about politicians needing to eat humble pie occasionally, but even a lot of Labour supporters would say that the things in the bush trucker trial go a bit far, with of course the exception of Diane Abbott who would ask what it was I just said a few seconds ago about a pie. There's also an assassination attempt on the former cricketer and president of Pakistan, Imran Khan. And I learned of this when someone asked if I'd seen his new leg break. Sorry, that was in poor taste. It's just not cricket, is it? There's also the ongoing financial mess, which quite frankly needs a radical change that nobody seems to be happy to discuss as of yet. You know, things like cancelling HS2 or foreign aid or perhaps raising the pension age to 70 or simply not subsidising a chain of pubs within the Palace of Westminster. There are of course many analogies to be made here, most of them involving a can being kicked down the road. Perhaps the best one is if you imagine a technocrat middle of the road civil servant from the treasury visiting the wedding at Cana and seeing Jesus turning the water into wine, but then he dismisses the whole point and suggests that the wine contains mostly water anyway, so it's only really at best a 13.5% miracle, and if we wanted cheaper wine we should just rejoin the EU, before of course leaking a story to the Guardian about the whole thing riddled with typos of course. Also in the news, Suela Braverman visited an asylum centre this week and a couple of hours later there were press photographs of her exiting the place. It in and out in under two hours. Must have been fast-tracked, I guess. Personally, I don't understand the racist complaints about the number of Albanians coming to the UK. You know, are they worried that Britain might somehow end up with a white Prime Minister? And finally, I was driving for a village the other day and I saw a sign saying Max Speed 50. So I just thought I'd say happy birthday if you're out there, Max. Hope you had a good one. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.